was that the third she had to make a pitching change for a non-effective reason? <laughs> yeah, that was a frightening moment for us. You know, Jacob, uh, you know, you were hoping it wasn't, wasn't going to be right in the kneecap. It was on the side, so we feel like, um, you know, he's going to be okay. But obviously, you know, I'm, I'm not a doctor, so we'll usually really find out about these things the next day, and we'll get an MRI and find out what's going on there. But, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, it's a frightening moment. Uh, th- those things really, really scare you, and that's that's – they happen, but you know what? Um, you don't want, ever want that stuff to happen when they do. You really, that's when you wouldn't want to find out about your ball club. And this is a good club. You know, uh, I give them all the credit in the world. They're good because they're experienced. They know how to play. You look at their lineup, and there's a ton of senior, junior in there. And, and you know, that's why they're winning a lot of baseball games. So I thought we, we did some good things in this ball game. I thought we defended very well. I thought Sam Frost. Made some outstanding defensive plays. I think the, the he says Frazier, they weren't hard hit, so it was it was easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the, the play <laughs> Frazier makes in the middle of the field is is a big time play. Yeah. I, I really I thought we did a nice job defensively uh, during the course of the game. We get seven guys on the mound who all contribute, and uh, you know that's that's kind of who we are. So what okay, what you know. once get through the lineup once, and the yeah. guys seem to figure things out with the starter there. Yeah, although, you know, you get through the first time. I was looking at my chart, and the first time through, we had, you know, six guys who hit balls really hard, and we didn't have anything to show for it. And you got to be really careful in those situations because your guys start thinking, you know, this isn't our day. You know, no matter how hard we hit a ball, it's just not going to fall for it. You know, their first baseman's diving, making a play. Shortstop's diving, making a play. Outfielder's diving, making a play. Outfield, right fielder jumps over the fence, pulls back. I mean, when those sort of things happen in your first nine ABs, you're thinking, oh, dear, you know, maybe maybe this isn't our evening. But, again, our kids, it's an older group or who just keep competing and, and they feel like some positive things are going to happen, well, and they did. What made Gentry thought the choice yeah. right there, and, and how quickly did you think of that when you saw the ball go up? Well, I think Butch and I both are thinking they, there's a seven-man right-handed lineup and Gentry can live off of his uh, fastball. So what we, we, we really, there's such a patient club, and we were hoping uh, Miles could get some early action and some ground, balls on our ground in the field. And really had a lot more punch outs than I, than I thought he would have, but and he went deeper into counts than we thought he would. But uh, certainly, you know, his longest uh, outing of the year is 20-something pitches, and yeah. he goes 60, uh, 63 tonight. So it's yeah. just a great job. You know, it hurts us because you probably won't be able to use him the rest of the weekend. But at the same time, it, you know, plants that seed in his mind, I can do this. I can go. I can be extended. And, you know, he's pitching against a veteran lineup. He's a freshman. And, and these are those moments where you say, I can I can do these things. Is that an you know, indication? I mean, it's not a fair situation for Miles, but you get him through that. You're able to go to a Will Cox. You're able to get through the ball game now when something like that happens to Jacob. Sure, and it, it really changes things. We're playing three this week instead of four. Mm-hmm. So that, that brings Will Cox into, the, in, into focus in a game like this. And I thought he came in and just threw the ball very, very well. So we're really pleased with what he did as well. Just the depth of your pitching staff, I guess that, this would be a testament to that, 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 you know, you had to bring a guy in early, and you still got plenty of pitching left for the rest of the week. Well, I'm glad you feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> but tomorrow, obviously, Evan, uh, you never feel like you have plenty of anything. But, uh, you know, we, we like our club and we like our, our staff. But, you know, Evan, tomorrow, you know, if he can command a breaking ball the way he did last weekend and, and throw more strikes with his fastball, and, and we'll have Ross on the other side. You know, that's a big contrast between those two styles and, and the way they pitch. And, you know, we're, we're very hopeful between those two guys we can get deep enough into the, the game to where we can, uh, you know, use the, those last two or three guys. Are you looking for, like, a look out of Miles when that happens where you say, okay, you're in? I mean, it, it seems like he, he could have – he's a freshman. He could be like, whoa, this is this is too big a moment you know, for Matt, me. That's or... a great question, and the answer is no. no. He hasn't flinched once. Butch Thompson says, hey, I know you've been throwing here your entire life, but what do you think about throwing here? Okay. You know, it's – the kid just – you, know, you keep waiting for him to become a freshman, and he just doesn't. You know, he just keeps on going out there and, and throwing fastballs and moving at the bottom of the zone. Sometimes, you know, 87, 80, 88, which, which from that arm angle is very unusual. And, uh, I mean, this is a guy who's going to have a lot of appearances at Mississippi State if he stays healthy. Thanks, Jay.